Okay, guys, I'm here today with new balance, huge honor for me and Ty. And uh, guys, so I think at this point everybody knows new, but for those who doesn't know, he's one of the best uh, grappling and uh, MMA coaches in, in the world, and also one of the best coaches at BGGFanatics.com. And today he's gonna show us here uh, this new guillotine style that he has, that it's using like the goose grip, right? Uh, new, yeah. Can you explain a little more? Yeah, it's just a kind of concept. I have some people that had tip for some of this, but it's, um, you know, when we do a lot of guillotines, we focus on the, the two side uh, of our wrist, the thin side. But, you know, sometimes when you're guillotine, if you're high, your neck is a lot stronger there, your throat is a lot stronger. But if you're low, you know, we're really sensitive. It really does hurt a lot more. So it's focusing a lot more on the trachea and choking than and then necessarily on uh, like a carotid uh, restraint. So once you get the two side in, you know, like a two by four, the two side and then the four side, you rotate your wrist. And when you do that, the four side takes up a big portion of your throat. So you, you're basically getting the sweet spot no matter what. And what you're doing here is I call the goose is when we get the choke in, okay, we start to rotate, but now what we can do is start to lift, lift and drive this high. So you're able to get this a lot higher than if you're just doing this. Once I rotate, I can get it higher and higher and higher. And it has a lot of cool aspects to it. You can do a lot of things that are not perfect and still get lucky doing it. Uh, my fun, friend Jason Manley has a, a variation, an arm in guillotine like this that I absolutely love and I've taken and run with it. So hat tip to him. And uh, I set it up from different things and it's super effective. And sometimes a guy double legs you, you know, like to, to beat a guillotine and he'll choke himself out, it gets worse. And it kind of bends the rules of a, of a regular guillotine. Good. So basically, like instead of using this part of your wrist, you use kind of like yeah. The, so oh, this, awesome. like I say, like, like a good, a good yeah, answer. yeah. So this side gets in because that slides it in. Then you rotate it. Now you got everything oh, yeah. in the throat, oh, oh, awesome. and now you can really compensate. You know, you can go a little deeper and choke it. It's it's fantastic for arm in variations. Like an army guillotine, it's awesome. And if the arm's not in good position, and it's low. You know, Jason Manley does something like that from there. And then you have like, you know, a lot of different variations. And it's instructional. You're gonna get a lot of mean chokes that they're gonna make of the world of difference uh, when you're on the mat. You know, I think it's gonna, you're gonna have some secret did weapons. You, did you torture? Yeah, it was, it was probably the worst or... one you ever had, wasn't it? Yeah. I did my best. It's, it's worse than neck locks. You remember the neck locks? I don't yeah, it's the neck locks. <laughs> but it's, it's great. And I, I love it. I swear by it now. It's, it's one of my yeah. favorite. I've been doing it a while, but um, I really wanted to do one just on the the goose. Oh, wow, that's awesome. You, can you demonstrate some examples just so the audience can, can get a... Yeah, sure. I'll give them some um a lot of times, a lot of techniques are going to be based off kind of being in this situation and then either locking a reverse gable or what I call like a finger roll grip. And I like the finger roll grip a lot. And I'm going to show a, a different technique, which is totally different than what I'm showing you. But a lot of techniques that you're going to see are going to be based like this. And instead of trying to pull this up, you drop your wrist and you just doesn't take much prop power. So this side slides in, it turns to the four side, and then you get under it and you start driving it up. That's more like the Jason Manley's version of the choke. And I love it, I love it. What I'm gonna show this time is a pinch front headlock variation. You know, my friend Daryl Christian, he really got me into the pinch front headlock. And now what I did is I moved it and made a, made a choke out of it and I used the goose. So. Pinch front headlock instead of locking out on the outside. I'm locking right here. Usually it's done on the on the the face and using it as like a neck lock, but it helps tilt the guy to his back. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put the goose slightly deep, not directly on the throat, just a touch deeper. Okay, and then I'm gonna lock my gable. From here, I'm going to pinch his head tight. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna traverse his head across my body 
or I'm going to move across his head. They, they both work, but I'm gonna move his head basically to this pocket of my body, okay? Once I get there, okay, I'm gonna start turning, turning, and I'm gonna start picking up the goose in nice and high, okay? In real world, I'd be off my knees and I'd be jamming him and he's gonna to wanna to turn over, but a lot of times you'll tap him before you turn over. And then I'll show you the turnover as well. So we're here, a little, get it into that sweet spot. I lock, pinch tight, start to traverse his head. And now I get the goose and see how he gets a nice tap. That's awesome. Real simple to get. You can do it short limbs. So you're not giving away your wrist. So it's just right here. Okay, so you might snap them down or you stuff a takedown and then you can quickly get it. It doesn't take a lot of work. Now, as I bring his head across, he's going to want to turn over for me. And then what happens, you can really turn the choke on even more. So now you're winning the position. So once you learn this, you have a guy, you know, driving for a takedown, you get fast at this, the more pressure he gives in, the faster he's gonna tilt, okay? So, I'm here, snap, get my lock pinch tight, I traverse it across, he's gonna see how he's gonna tilt. When he tilts, I kinda chase the legs. Now right here, he'll tap, and once I goose it. Other words, I step in, hook the leg, and this is gonna look familiar, cross, I'm gonna rotate to a low shoulder, and now, instead of like neck cranking here, I focus on the goose. So now here comes the four side and now the goose. That's incredible. Wow, that's awesome. Wow, that's all. It makes, pretty much like, makes every choke that you can apply the goose a lot more effective than without the goose. Is that right? Uh, roughly, yeah. I yeah. use it for the arm and guillotine a lot, the manly choke variations, some of my boa choke variations. I can do this from the bottom. I can do it from the top. And what I like about it, it gives me a little bit of, uh, it breaks the rules a little bit. If he double legs me, he's gonna choke himself out. If he doesn't wanna choke himself out, he tilts his body, but now he can't post. I roll him and get it back on top and finish it. So it's one of those kind of things you can, very versatile. If you can get his head underneath you yep. and you're quick at these, some of the grips I'm gonna show you in the video and in the, in the instructional, you're gonna you're gonna do some damage and it's gonna be a lot of fun for you yeah because you're gonna be able to tap out guys way better than you more experienced than you when you have this weapon yeah okay. yeah anyway, when i was uh reading on a study the other day that was saying that on mma maps i think grappling might be pretty similar people who go for a guillotine and miss it normally lose the match 100 percent. so i think like Whatever extra detail you can add to your guillotine, and you can increase that percentage, well, but, uh, that's a game-changing kind of. In the instructional, you're going to see, I I don't fall back very much. Okay. I can do these kind of chokes and tilt you over, or I can finish it standing, or I just pressure into you. I can even, I can even um, tilt you a different way. Um, I have one where um, he's here. I give him a, a pressure, I have my goose in, I give him pressure to stack, he pushes back, and then I tilt him, and now he's here. Okay. As he's driving, he can't post, I redirect him. So there's a lot of things you can do in finishing on top. You can set these up, like the man, you can set it up on top in half guard, where he's coming up, and then as he comes up, boom, you get the goose, okay. two by four. These kind of things, regular guillotines don't work there. Good, good. So, in the instructional, I, there's a lot more. Good. But I break it all down, go into each detail, and this poor guy had to go through hell. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> Bernardo likes That's it. That's my Bernardo favorite Bernardo part of the video. <laughs> <laughs> he got me a little ice cream. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so guys, you shot this entire instructional all about how to use the goose grip on all type of chokes. And uh, it's coming out really, really good. And I think if you have watched uh, new teaching, you, you, you know why he is one of the best instructors because he really dives on the on each technique, and and he doesn't just like throw the techniques. It's everything works on a sequence. So it's a very interesting person to learn from. 
So make sure to check that out. It's going to be at bjjfanatics.com very soon. And maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So thank you, Ty. Oh, thank, thank you very you. much. Appreciate it. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.